there welcome to another episode today is pretty special uh, I've been saying that for the last few vlogs but bear with me uh, today is no exception perhaps a little bit better um, I am at simply a Porsche uh, an incredible event this is my first time uh, at this event and um, well I'm just gonna get well I'm just gonna let the uh, footage do the talking rather than me having to say anything there is an absolute ton of cars um, I think the number is uh, maybe close to a thousand participants uh, a thousand cars um, more or less which is insane uh, but I couldn't be more excited to be here today and just see the vast array of different cars I've already spotted so many different ones that I want to have a closer look at some really special cars that I haven't seen before so I'm looking forward to them uh, to go explore and get up and close so um, yeah hopefully you guys stick around for this because this will be a very special uh, vlog okay uh, so let's start with this 996 uh, I saw uh, I saw it actually pull up uh, on the way so I was intrigued and I wanted to have a closer look because it is in guards red and um, very unique very special I believe there's not many about in guards red let's just have a closer look I do love the color I I know of another 99 turbo 996 turbo in guards red uh, but that's in a left-hand drive uh, configuration uh, with a few more different options this is in the regular seats which I'm surprised to see it's got the painted console which is very nice um, and not much in the way of sort of um, options you yeah, I'd, I'd expect or would like to see on a turbo um, the other one I will hopefully show you in the not very uh, distant future it's got a lot of carbon trim and, and other sort of tricks but nonetheless um, it's beautiful it's a it's a turbo and it is in red uh, it is full to the brim with cars let's just quickly climb up and show you what the view is like from up here pretty spectacular I spot two 996's I'd like to go and have a look at um, <laughs> no matter how many I see um, I'm always intrigued and um, you know interested to have a closer look at any 996 um, and you know what um, I'm actually uh, liking the silver it's growing on me it's, I usually see the silver cabriolets with the blue uh, roof and I like that configuration very much I just think it's quite different this has got the black roof and it's a nice contrast as well of course it goes very well um, this is a very clean very nice example and I do like the S in red it just sort of sets off it's got the same exhaust that I have um, and the sort of terrible wheels uh, um, it's got the um, let me see if you can quite see this uh, it's got the equipment in the aluminium trim which is also very nice and here is another uh, C4S pretty much identical however this one is a coupe and pretty nice as well you don't see many about oh this I was gonna say this is a manual but actually it turned out to be a tiptronic like mine all right nice with the same PCM system as well so that's very cool I do like the interiors on these cars this is very special um, it's like sort of a terracotta red interior you can just see it here and this one's got the uh, sports seats as well very clean design um, with the no uh, rear wipers but uh, let's just admire this because the lines on this car are just so fine and so lovely um, really really nice example and very clean as well there's a Carmen red a turbo that I saw as well that's a very unique very special car there's not many about in the same color around the world actually so it's ultra special we'll go and have a closer look at that but let's just see and admire this Carrera S in guards red as well I do love the color Miami blue one of my favorite colors the Miami blue very nice it is actually the other thing I do like is the double tone in the wheels so you've got the dark gray with the uh, silver accents which is very cool it just sets off really nicely as well and the color is of course very strong have a 
look at this 718 spider we had um we had one actually that we looked at briefly the other day at the uh, porsche event meet this is very nice also in white i just love what these cars represent um and the power i mean can you imagine a four liter over 400 horsepower um so very capable car yeah sports bucket seats carbon fiber alcantara interior very nice Ooh. all right let's see a 993 nice number plate these are my favorite wheels on the 993 i love them a lot um, they were launched on the 993 and I just think they're one of my favorite wheels period but especially on the 993 they look great this is a Targa edition with a very cool masket sitting there yeah I, I love the the glass roof on the Targa I remember a friend of mine had this years ago um, a similar 993 also I think in a silver and uh, I remember just loving it this was maybe over 20 years ago this one is interesting you don't see many about it's sort of in the wood configuration this is definitely a comfortable cruiser parked next to a 911t very nice 912 very cool in black with the gold accents let's see I do like the green boxer over there I like the color again red always stands out I prefer the older models except for the new 992 again we have a nice slate gray 996 4s very cool in cabriolet also with the sports seats which is nice to see very similar to mine in that it has the PCM this has got the manual though without the uh, aluminium equipment I do like to see the um, wind deflector deployed it's nice all right um, let's quickly whiz about to the cars that I wanted to show you um, they're just lurking in the back um, and they're parked conveniently right next to each other two different 911 models from different eras um, close to each other however and uh, yeah they've got two unique color combinations so that's why I want to go and have a look at them Right, so it's these two very cars actually uh, which one shall we start with let's start with this this is the 997 this is actually this was a launch color um, I think they called it a uh, sunburnt orange this is a Targa very nice um, you know you don't see many targets about so very unique very special I do like the combinations it wouldn't be my pick however it just stands out makes it unique so I do like that and of course the glass roof really that's what it's all about this is the um, point two generation so this is the second generation of the 997s so it came with the uh, enhanced pdk with the pcm system now for this one the turbo again this is a very unique color it would definitely be my pick this is called carmen red very very unique i've never seen actually this color in person um so i'm very impressed to see it here i saw it online a few times on a 996 uh, gt3 in the states so uh, i'm pretty pleased to see it here this is a turbo um it's got the deptronic uh gearbox um which you don't see very often usually you see them in manuals however it's beautiful the color is very special it's got the sunroof it's got the gray interior which is maybe not my choice but it brightens it up i guess maybe black would have been too dark but black perhaps would have been my pick or maybe even beige uh, if you wanted to lighten up but a very nice and very special car yeah um considering putting these up um on my grills uh because it's already starting to 
gather a lot of dirt inside um, i'm not too sure about the way they look however i think they offer a lot of sort of practical solution so considering it you have a 992 turbo s very fast car I'm not really a fan uh just because they're just too fast and too clinical and people tend to go on about how fast they are in straight line or whatever and you can do over 200 miles an hour all right yeah sure but doesn't really impress me very much um however this one i like uh this is a base model um i believe this is an s but i do like the exhaust more than the oval ones for sure uh everyone seems to be opting and uh optioning the um the oval exhaust but i prefer these ones for sure uh very nice of course the interior can't really argue with um i do love it very much and the color as well and the color is, is quite nice similarly colored but this is a darker blue 996 csr options and tricks it's got a carbon fiber look bonnet and ducktail so that's pretty cool all right let's see a load of cars the tricked out gt3 rs very cool purely for track i mean the car is completely stripped out carbon fiber bucket seats roll cage and everything i love the interior on this just the red hops i do like that a lot miami and miami and miami and miami blue turbo 997 you guys think about this i don't really have much to say um other than it's not really my cup of tea gt2 rs um the pinnacle of porsche engineering right 700 horsepower carbon fiber in all the right places the front bonnet the lures and the mirrors and of course the side vents really nice really beautiful cable car i do love the alcantara suede red interior as well and some of the painted options that's a very nice touch of course carbon bucket seats a very nice c4s with a very cool number plate as well in black with the turbo look wheels gray interior manual of course as most of these usually are yeah nice parked next to the generation one um, in beautiful black actually let me just quickly have a closer look I'm trying to yeah this is the cell black very nice option with the GT3 wing uh, a slight correction actually because I thought the color was black but in this light I don't know if the camera picks it up uh, I think this is Vesuvius gray I think that's the uh, how you pronounce it I'm not sure but you can just pick up sort of purple hints um, I thought it was black from the other side because it was sort of dark um, or at least uh, very dark gray but now you can see a, a lot of um, a lot of purple i definitely love the uh the combination and the interior again really really nice interior for me original uh it's the tiptronic so this would have been one of the very first that had the tiptronic installed in it um and i like that again with the original pcm uh but the color is very interesting i haven't seen that color sort of in person before at least not with the sun hitting it um it's got a lot of sort of uh metal fleck which i like uh, once the sun hits it it just it shines um, very nice we have the great crew over here 
all three 996s very nice in identical colors um, quite different as well this one caught my eye because of the interior this has got a really nice this has got the terracotta interior very rare you don't see many about in this interior and i love it and it's in the manual as well this is the gen 2 the updated carrera very nice i love 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 the interior for me um it's a highlight let me see get a closer look yep there we go very nice got the standard seats but i'll forgive it just because of the interior color again parked next to an identical colored 996 also gen 2 and then here we have another beauty in the slate gray but with the fox wheels beautiful really nice again it's a sort of a retro nod and the duck tail as well yeah very nice well done targa 4s i love the um, silver roll bar hoop very nice wow look at that oh i didn't notice that before um i'm not sure if this is sort of a a roll bar for stiffening maybe that's why they added uh, or perhaps for when the targa uh, roof comes and sits here so maybe that's just support for it um, really nice again very simple black black wheels and i love the silver accents of the roll bar convertible 997 right in front of another 997 carrera and a very cool original 911 targa and pretty much the same spec as the other one we just saw except for this one's got silver wheels which i prefer than the black wheels Carrera 4, C4S, 996 and 997. What do you guys think? C4S with the wing up, looks rather cool. GT4 parked next to a GT3 um, I asked on Instagram actually if I should uh, I was considering doing uh, my wheels in the same color and um, finish in gold sort of a matte look um, so let me know what you guys think we had a look closer look at this at the uh, Porsche meetup uh, last weekend uh, I think I believe this may be for sale so if any of you are interested um, I'll put the Instagram handle to the guy selling it his name is Guy ironically oh yeah there you go so yeah it's a very nice uh, 997 GT3 white but the livery just sets it off and it's got some really nice options as well a menacing looking 997 turbo in black beautiful very stealth and i love the uh, center lock silver wheels park rex to a really nice green base carrera 993 really cool an early example but very nice color again a very nice example 996 in silver it's got the equipment with the wheels the handbrake and the center console all painted in silver as well this is pretty much also very similar to mine except that this is the manual but it's also got the PCM2 but in the turbo wheels I actually saw another sort of turbo look wheels but he had painted them in uh, dark grey which I can approve of it's just uh, I mean a ton of cars I don't know where to go and where to look there's a nice 996 turbo park there yellow which I love Ah, oh. uh, again another 996 that's caught my eye I think if I'm not mistaken um, that is a Targa I can just tell from the lines Ooh, nice livery here with the martini 
livery from porch very cool so here is the midnight blue targa just as i thought very nice yeah very nice combination with the light gray um, tiptronic as well let me just quickly have a look inside and say all right so let's just quickly have a nice look inside i do like the uh, the wooden trim around the center console here this has got the tiptronic but for me it's just it's just always nice when you look up and you see the glass uh, it's such a nice feature and it goes all the way so you get a massive opening um so yeah it just really sets it off very cool very clean example as well with the ruffled seats and i love the color it's a midnight blue if i'm not mistaken right yeah really nice this is a nice guards red 997 so many silver cars but i'll tell you what, on the 996 when they're nice and clean just like any other color really um it does look good Ooh, now now we're talking a carmen red it's crazy i think it's a carmen red although actually this is lighter so it's not as dark as the the ones we saw in the 996 turbo and the 997 this is a lighter color but very nice 4s this is a gen 2 i love the gen 2 with the updated lights and of course they brought back the uh, the red trim in the back iconic and very necessary um yeah i love the interior updates as well and of course all, the all important pdk just moved the game leaps with this new gearbox very nice in the car in the, in the sun 996 is here got a big strong presence today which is great love to see that even though i've got i've got the same car uh, it's always different to you know when you see other people's car rather than yours because you're going to be biased um but when i see other people's i'm always sort of with the same feeling and the same notion um i do like them and that's also got the ooh, Tiptronic again quite similar to mine Tiptronic the PCM original PCM and the wide dials like mine um, but without the sports seats and the BBS wheels oh we have a cobalt blue a nice cobalt blue I do actually like this. This is the cream interior. Cream interior with the painted center console and the manual. It's got a nice aftermarket, uh, clean looking PCM installed. A very nice looking 996 Gen 2 with the Fuchs wheels. side because the sun is in our way one of the main things i love about the uh, newer generation porsches is the way the soft top is uh it's very much now they've gotten it very much like the coupe so it's the same silhouette um, it's a much it's a much softer line which i think looks great it looks very nice in the convertible form as well um there is a 991 lurk in there i don't know if you can see it it's got the yellow yellow light tints yeah i love the tint on the lights very cool and the wheels the center lock wheels have an interesting finish they're not quite sort of gold uh, but they're what are they sort of silver iridium silver maybe with a hint of gold it goes nicely with the tint of the lights with the blue as well that's a nice combination <laughs> Oh, and here I was 
was saying you don't see I haven't seen another one in my wheel configuration and here it is just popped out of nowhere wow a 996 with this sport technique design in painted in gray rather cool actually it goes it goes well with the with the with the navy blue that's actually quite nice i think it would have um stood out better if it was left in the original sort of um silverish whitish color but very nice i'm glad to see it yes well done well done very nice and it's got the upgraded um these are aftermarket of course led lights 911 in guards red this is a carrera s with the wing in the back so this is the aero kit wing very nice i do like the steering wheel nice black wheels oh it's got the aero cup kit which is nice A nice silver spider, very nice. I love the interior actually, a reminiscent of the 918 with the style wheels. Of course, this is the first time we saw them. It was in the 918 and then they've been used on other 911 models, including the spider here. Very nice. Again, like we said, very powerful, very capable car. One with the BBS um, gold wheels. Recaro bucket seats for the driver and then the sports seats for the passenger. Okay. GT3 in lizard green. Very striking color. This is a Gen 1 GT3. A thoroughbred. I love the uh, the number plate. Kermit. And he's got the Kermit right there. How cool. <laughs> Very nice. I have here two GT3s. A 997 Generation 1 GT3 with the 3.8 engine. Part next to a Miami Blue GT3 Gen 2 with the 4 liter upgraded 4 liter engine rather than the 3.8 with the carbon fiber bucket seats very nice as well two very similar animals from different eras only a few years apart all right I think it's time to head home okay so that was interesting um a really good day out i expected a little bit more to be honest with you if, um i expected to see some rare and exotic um uh, models of the 911s similar to the ones we saw uh last week at a meetup like the 993 ocean jade so i expected to see a few of those dotted around uh there weren't however there were some really nice uh examples a lot of 996s which i was really happy to see in all sorts of colors 997s uh, 992s uh, so i was really happy to see and film those um, i met with my friends and a few other new people that i got to know so happy days all in all um, the journey here uh, wasn't particularly very interesting um, but Thank you very much. It's meant to actually uh, link up and meet with a group of people along the way, uh, but a few issues happened and um, I ended up being uh, solo. Um, and uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I've got hopefully a nice drive out with a few Porsche, uh, fellow Porsche owners next week. So I'm hoping to film that in a cool way and uh, bring it to you guys. Um, yeah, so let me know what you guys thought and if indeed your Porsche was one of them and uh, yeah, take care and I'll see you guys very soon.